Are you in the market for a new 3D printer? Look no further. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Lulzbot Taz Sidekick 747 and giving you all the information that you need to decide if it's the right printer for you. With its impressive printing capabilities and user-friendly design, the Taz Sidekick 747 is sure to impress. Don't miss out on this in-depth review. Hello and welcome to my review of the Lulzbot Taz Sidekick 747 3D printer. Full disclosure, this video is not sponsored by Lulzbot. However, they did provide the printer to me for review. There's no monetary compensation for either party, and my opinion on this printer is my own. If this is your first time here, my name is Richard, and I have been involved in this hobby for more than seven years now. Over the past five years, I've been helping people just like you overcome their issues with 3D printing hardware, software, and materials. We've got a lot to get a lot to get into today, so let's dive right in. A few years ago, the Lulzbot Taz was known for its high quality printing and commitment to open source principles. However, in 2019, the manufacturer Elf Objects shuttered its operations and the future of the Lulzbot brand seemed uncertain. But fear not, as Fargo Additive Manufacturing Equipment 3D stepped in to acquire the assets and continue the production and support of popular Lulzbot machines, like the Mini 2, Taz Workhorse, and Taz Pro. Now, after a couple of years, we have a brand new Lulzbot machine, the Taz Sidekick. Unlike its business-focused predecessors, the Taz Sidekick is aimed at a more budget-conscious audience. With a striking all-green or stealth black design, in this video, I'll be giving you an in-depth review of the Taz Sidekick and all it has to offer. As we look at the configurator for the Taz Sidekick, a few things become immediately clear. Firstly, this 3D printer is smaller than what we're used to seeing from Lulzbot. In fact, there are two different versions of the Taz Sidekick, the Sidekick 289 and the Taz Sidekick 747. The Sidekick 289 has a build volume of about 161 by 161 by 180 millimeters, which is like the Lulzbot Mini 2, but in a more compact size. It also features 3D printed appendages rather than the stamp metal control box of the Mini. The larger Taz Sidekick 747 with a build volume of about 280, 228 by 228 by 247 millimeters is currently available and can be configured the same as the smaller 289. Overall, the Taz Sidekick offers a more budget friendly option for those looking for the quality and reliability of a Lulzbot 3D printer. One of the standout features of the Taz Sidekick is its configurability. You have the option of choosing from a variety of different components and add-ons to create the perfect 3D printer for your needs. For example, you can opt for a version without a display or print head for a lower price of about $745. Lulzbot has also evolved its tool head to be easily swappable on the Taz Sidekick, allowing you to easily switch between different printing capabilities. Additionally, you can choose to include a filament sensor and decide between a standard glass PEI build platform or the company's newer OctaGrab removable magnetic bed. Mesh bed leveling is included in all configurations of the Taz Sidekick, thanks to the AntLab's BL Touch. And if you want to fully kit out your Taz Sidekick with all the highest price options, including a large bore hardened steel tool head, it'll cost you $1,475. Overall, the Taz Sidekick offers a wide range of options for customization, ensuring that you can get exactly the 3D printer you need. Recently, I did a live stream where I unboxed, assembled, and printed with the Sidekick. A link to that video can be found in the description below or the card right here. The printer I received was designed with simplicity in mind. It came pre-configured in stealth black and equipped with a glass PEI bed, a GLCD screen, and a SK175 tool head, so you can start printing right out of the box. If you choose the pre-configured option, you can expect to pay $1,285. But what really sets the Taz Sidekick apart is its SK175 tool head. This state-of-the-art tool head 
makes use of a compact direct drive hot end and extruder combo called Titan Arrow, made by E3D. It creates a more elegant and compact unit by combining the lightweight performance, dependability, and usability of the V6 and Titan. The brass nozzle offers great heat transfer and works well within material or works well with materials like PLA and PETG. The SK175 was created exclusively for the Taz Sidekick and includes an open fan shroud for the easy viewing of your initial layer. Thanks to Lulzbot's universal tool head mounting mechanism, the SK175 may be readily replaced with a higher grade tool head in the future. The Taz Sidekick is dedicated to the open source community, with over 50% of the parts on the Taz Sidekick being 3D printed. It allows users to replace, service, or customize their printer. The firmware is based on the popular Marlin open source code. The motion belt drive X, Y, Z planes uh, prevent artifacts in your final print. The best, and best of all, the Taz Sidekick is compatible with a wide variety of materials. So you can experiment with all sorts of different prints. Plus it comes with free software so you won't have to worry about any hidden costs. And if you're worried about getting started with 3D printing, don't be. The Taz Sidekick is fully plug and play machine, meaning you don't need a special, any special tools or expertise to get started. Everything that you need is included right in that box. The Taz Sidekick ships with Cura LE, a version of the popular free slicer tailored to the Lulzbot printer. So you can start printing right away without having to worry about buying any expensive software. Let's take a look at some of the pros and cons of the Lulzbot Taz Sidekick 3D printer. It starts with budget-friendly price. Now, what does that really mean to you? Yes, it is a little bit more expensive than say some of the other options out on the market, but you're getting a lot for that money. It's got a compact size. It's a great choice for those with limited space. It's got configurable components, allowing you to choose exactly the features that you need. It's also got a user-friendly design. It's easy to use for beginners and experienced users alike. It produces high quality prints thanks to the reliable and accurate printing capabilities of this printer. Also, it can print with a wide range of materials and objects can be printed thanks to the interchangeable tool head and build platform. Now on the con side, there are a few things that hold this back. It does have a smaller build volume compared to some other Lulzbot machines. Now, some advanced features such as an enclosed build chamber are not available. And some users may find the all green color scheme a bit too bold. Now, after using this printer for the last few days, I've come to the following conclusion. The Taz Sidekick is a reliable, capable 3D printer that is perfect for those looking for a budget-friendly option from a trusted brand. Its configurability allows you to choose exactly the components and features that you need, and its small footprint makes it an excellent choice for those with limited space. The availability of different tool heads and build platforms also adds to its versatility, allowing you to print a wide range of materials and objects. Overall, the Taz Sidekick is a great choice for those beginners and experienced 3D printing enthusiasts. Its user-friendly design and high quality prints makes it a reliable and enjoyable mechanism to use. If you're in the market for a brand new 3D printer, the Taz Sidekick is definitely worth considering. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you found this review helpful. Links are in the description below if you want to take a look at the Lulzbot Taz Sidekick 747. Please feel free to leave a comment with any questions that you have. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more great content. I'll see you next time and remember that the first layer is your foundation to a great 3D print.